Good morning, visitors. The vessel that you see arriving is the Misabi Miner. The Misabi Miner was built in 1977 by the American Shipbuilding Company in Lorain, Ohio. She measures 1,004 feet in length, 105 feet in width, and 56 feet in depth. She's powered by two 8,000 horsepower, 16-cylinder, peel-stick diesel engines, which give her a top speed of 15 knots, or about 17 miles per hour. She's also equipped with a 1,500 horsepower bow thruster to aid her maneuverability in port. The Masabi Miner has 36 hatches on her deck, which open into seven cargo holds located below deck. Each hatch covering measures 65 by 11 feet, and she has a maximum carrying capacity of 63,300 tons. Above her deck, that thing that kind of looks like a crane, is a 265-foot self-unloading boom, which allows her to unload her own cargo at a rate of 10,000 tons per hour without the aid of shoreside equipment. That one long and two short is known as the captain's salute. The vessel initiates the greeting with one long blast followed by two short, and the bridge responds with the same thing. The Masabi Miner is currently owned and operated by the Interlake Steamship Company of Middleburg Heights, Ohio. The Masabi Miner made her maiden voyage to the Twin Ports in June of 1977 and formally christened here in Duluth in honor of the people of the Masabi Iron Range of Northern Minnesota who encouraged the development of the mining industry in Minnesota. The Masabi Miner was built for $45.1 million and she was the first thousand footer to load iron ore pellets at Burlington Northern's ore dock number five in Superior in 1977. And she was the first ship to load iron ore pellets at Canadian Nationals new dock in two harbors in 1978. The Masabi Miner is arriving today to load iron ore pellets at Canadian National in West Duluth. <laughs>